Hey guys, it's been a while. It is the last week in September and I'm on vacation. Got the week off. I'm up here solo until uh, next Saturday and then Sue and the girls will be joining me. Uh, my main goal on this vacation is to work on this shower slash sauna shed a little bit. I'm going to get this, the shower part going in it hopefully. I'm going to uh, wrap it in some pine boxcar siding. Now since you've seen it last, this project's been kind of on hold. I've had a busy summer. Got a lot going on. But since you've seen it last, I've uh, cut a couple, couple windows in here for some ventilation. And I put the old bubble foil insulation in here. I know I may uh, get some comments on haters on that, but I'm a big fan of Boss of the Swamp. And uh, the Boss uses this quite a bit. The main reason I use this is to keep the mice out of the walls, keep them out of the insulation. So that's my plan for it. I don't need to insulate it that much. Once I put a wood burner in here, it's going to be hotter in hell. So that's where I'm at now. So you cut a couple windows in. And uh, I'm going to start uh, giving her here today. It's Sunday afternoon. Packers are on this evening. I think I'm going to have a steak on the grill and watch the pack. First thing I'm going to do today, hopefully, I've got a combination uh, storm door here. Um, I'm going to stud, put some studs across here and mount that storm door. And once that's done, I can start putting the boxcar siding up. So uh, I'll be turning this camera on and off, <clears throat> showing my progress. Uh, I'm going to really give it a good day tomorrow. I'm going to meet my uncle in Black River Falls and do some golfing on Tuesday. We'll see where we're at Wednesday. I do want to get the Lund in the water at least once and do some fall walleyes. Or fall mix bag, whatever the Pete gives me. I need to put some fish in the freezer. So I will be showing you guys my progress here as I go along. Hey, good morning. It's Monday. A little after 9 a.m. I had to wait out the showers. We had some showers this morning. But I got some pretty good progress yesterday. Did a lot of prep work. Getting ready to lay down the uh, boxcar siding. But I wanted to show you, last week in September, the fall colors are starting. Starting to get real beautiful here in the woods. Next week uh, we're going on a color ride in the convertible with the girls and uh, should be peak. So let me show you here. Like I say, there's a lot of prep work. I have no plan. I had no plans for this, so I had to rig up installing this door in an existing old shed. But I've got her installed. As you can see, she's functional. It is tight, but I want it tight. I know it's a tall task. I'd like to keep it as mouse proof as possible. I know I'm asking for a lot. So, uh, got some more prep work to do here, and I'm going to start laying the boxcar siding.
Okay guys, take these earplugs off. It's the uh, end of the day, Wednesday. It's about 5 o'clock. And I am about as far as I'm going to get. I'm very happy with this project. Now I took all of Tuesday off because I went golfing with my uncle in Black River Falls and I had a fabulous time. But I'm very happy with the progress. So far this has taken me a little longer to make. So I haven't been able to fish. So whenever I do put this video out, there will be some fishing on it. But there you have it. Next thing I have to do in a couple weeks is put the wood burner in it. But I think it looks, I think it looks like a frickin' sauna, don't you? Look at this. Now I do have a lot of extra wood. Next summer I may trim up the, the ceiling. Not too worried about it right now. Sue and I may paint the ceiling and we may paint the floor to give a little bit more finish look. Now I've got to uh, do some trim work in here. And I am going to set up a little shower stall so I don't have to shower on the side of the cabin anymore. Maybe you can see it over there. There's my tank lift shower system. That is going to go in here. thought is with the wood burner in here we can either do a tankless shower in the winter or we can take a nice hot sauna so very pleased with how this turned out very pleased so uh, tomorrow's my last day and then I gotta pack up Friday morning I'm gonna go get soon I'll be back here on the weekend so uh, again I think she's gonna like it when she sees it Good morning everyone. We woke up to a beautiful morning today. So uh, I am going to give my sauna project a little bit of a rest. And uh, I've decided to hit the peat today. I'm going to give her several hours. So uh, just pulled old Moxie out. We're going to move these four wheelers and hook the old Lund scout up so uh got a little bit of chores here to do before we hit the water so uh let's get this underway and we'll see you out on the peat We have got a beautiful day out here on the peat. It's almost mid-October and I'm in shorts. I'm gonna love it. What a great day. I'm gonna, I probably got five hours of fishing. I got the scout all ready, it's tied up. I think I'm gonna have two poles with fat head minnows on them. And then I'm gonna, I got a pretty good sized sucker minnow I'm gonna let sit on the bottom. See if we can get a big walleye in that. So, uh, and get this thing fired up and get her out on the water. We'll see you out of my spot. Got some beautiful fall colors. Look at some of these trees. Um, I saw Ralph's truck and Marvin's van in the parking lot. Looks like Marvin has the old warrior boat out here with Ralph. Uh, early report, they've got a few cats so far. Chance we may see those guys. I'm just going to motor on through here, enjoy the fall colors, looking forward to getting a line wet. Okay, 
I've been here about 10 minutes. Right off the bat, I had a nice fish hit me. Probably should have paid more attention to the hook set. I was, of course, trying to turn the camera on, so I lost it. In the meantime, I've had some more tip taps here. That's usually a small walleye. My goal here is to put a couple in the freezer today. But I've got two, like I said, I've got two poles here over the side. Jig and a minnow. And then I've got this boy just freelancing back here. There's a big sucker minnow on this pole. So that's going to be for my trophy, hopefully. So let's see what happens. Here comes Ralph and Marvin. Hi! How you doing there, Mark? Good, how are you? Nice. Yeah, they're nice cats out here. Why don't you anchor right there and fish for a while? I'm right over the boat here, so anchor right there. Damn, that's a nice catfish boat. I have. All right, get some lines in the water. Those guys are gonna take off and try another spot. I'm in camp out mode. I know that the spot produces later, so I'm just gonna chill out here and enjoy the day. Finally got a little walleye coming in. There we go. The skunk is off. It's not an eater, but at least the skunk is off. You're going to sort through a bunch of these out in the peat to get a keeper. <laughs> Close. Nice. Oh, that might be. I think it'll probably be one of them 14s. A little bit nicer. but they're getting a little better. Fun nonetheless, though. Okay, yeah, there's a look at my setups. There's my two dead sticks with the fat heads, jig in the middle. There's the big sucker middle. I was bringing in the sucker middle to check it, make sure it was still on there. 
and there was something that was just mouthing it and it let go it didn't get any hooks in it so I got the, the clicker on I got the drag real loose clicker on so if something picks it up I can hear it but it is absolutely beautiful out here look at those fall colors It is gorgeous. Beautiful fall day. I'm going to be going on vacation again here pretty soon and I hope to get a lot of fishing in. Ralph and Marvin fishing the point pretty much that away. They haven't got any more cats yet. Cats uh, turned off on them, so we'll see what happens. Got high hopes here for later in the day. We got Jonesers. Okay guys, I'm at my second spot here. Action's really slowed down quite a bit. Had a pretty good time. Um, I don't know what I got. Six, maybe six, seven fish today. One keeper that I'm going to make a nice fish sandwich out of in the future. But it is just totally relaxing out here. I've only gone to two different spots just because I'm chilling. I'm in a chilling mood. beautiful day on the peat. Sun's still fairly high. I think I'm going to give her another 45 minutes, maybe an hour, and head on back to the cabin. Happy to get it, for sure. It's a nice release for you, Tilo. All right, let's get some more, guys. <laughs> that was perfect timing. cookie cutter to the other one. Not real big, but you know what? Something fun to do today. size. Well I got about 15 minutes to go. I think since the last time I had any editorial uh, I was waiting for it to pick up. I did have a flurry where I probably caught four or so. They are all the cookie cutter size today. Uh, it was a good day though. Great day to be out here. Really relaxed. Been pretty busy at work. Lots going on. Uh, just a great place, place to decompress. So I'm going to fish here about 15 minutes and then I'm going to pull anchors here and uh, get the old Lund back to camp. I got one walleye to clean. Then I'm going to make some venison burgers on the grill tonight. So uh, we'll see you guys down the road. Nice white bass here. There we go. It is a nice one. I add him to my walleye. Uh, 
Nice white bass. Almost, almost ready to call her a night when that one hit. Catching these all day long. False alarm. So we are going to call this a night. I'm going to get this boat back on the trailer. Got a walleye and a white bass to clean. Okay, we'll see you guys. Let's get this charcoal grill going here. We're gonna have some venison burgers. Looks like a scene from Survivor. Okay guys, I'm getting ready here to throw some burgers on the grill. The one thing I'm going to do tonight, something that I did with my buds Dan and Don, the Pete's, years ago in their camp. Got these wonderful orange peppers they gave me. I don't know what they are. They're hotter than hell. Uh, you can see them right here. Cut them up real small and then there's some uh, sausage jalapeno cheddar which is lovely. Anyway, I'm going to take these peppers and I'm going to infuse them in the venison burgers. I'm just going to push them in. And the flavor that gives is just unbelievable. And it's hot also. We do like hot spicy food. So I'm just going like this. Let's give you a little demonstration. I'm infusing these burgers with these super hot, I don't know what they are. Are they habaneros? No, no. You get the idea. I'm going to be doing that. Um, again, excellent flavor and there is some heat to it also. Um, as long as I'm here, got the camera going, I wanted to give a shout out to Kenny from Arkansas. Kenny, there's uh, one of the ham signs, the other one's in my man cave. I'll give you a shot of that next time I do some commentary down there. Uh, I mounted this next to our beloved Huber sign. So again, Kenny, thank you. I hope all is well in Arkansas with you and your family and your loved ones. I hope everyone is well and healthy. And, uh, yeah. So, next step, I'm going to finish infusing these burgers. 
and we'll get them out there to the uh, the old barbecue. They are on the grill. Won't be long now. There's the finished product, guys. Two venison burgers. I got a nice batch of uh, potatoes that my sweetie made me last night. She sent with me. So I'm going to down these. Wash her down with a point. One of my original sponsors. Now, this is going to wrap up this video. Um, I'd like to uh, extend a Happy Thanksgiving to my Canadian friends, uh, Blair and Tilo, and all my friends there in Winnipeg. Um, it's their uh, Thanksgiving today, so happy Thanksgiving to you. This is going to be my Thanksgiving meal here today in uh, honor of the Winnipeg friends. I know 2020 has been a goofy year. Uh, but there's still a lot to be thankful for. So happy Thanksgiving to you guys. I'm I'm thankful for our friendship, our fairly new friendship of a couple of years. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys had a good day. Now I'm going to um, be coming back here, not too uh, in the distant future here. I'll be back at the cabin soon. On another little vacation uh, so I'll be doing some more fishing maybe some bow hunting I do have a bow hunting license um, so yeah there's gonna be some more cabin videos hopefully I'm gonna wrap up the shower give you a shot of that and uh, yeah there's more to come it's uh, early fall and I'm looking forward to it it's gonna be a great fall of course we're gonna do a deer camp at the Pete's uh, more fishing on the Pete all kinds of good stuff. So, again, guys, thanks for watching. Happy Thanksgiving to my Winnipeg friends. I'm going to chow down. Peace out. Good morning, guys. One last parting shot before I hit the road here. This is going to be my breakfast sandwich on the way home. Over Easy Egg. Got some, uh, actually, some. Uh, it's not really a broad, it's definitely a sausage. Two of them split in half so they cook. Show you the finished product here in a second. Okay, here we go. Sausage will be on the bottom. Egg. Sausage. Shot of it. Yeah. There we have it. Top it off. And I'm going to chow that as I'm driving home. Again, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. We will see you next time.